Well, the snow goes and you want to go, maybe you're going to buy a brand new vehicle, but a lot of times you buy a previously owned vehicle and that can be a challenge. Mike Beeler, automotive expert, we're going to ask you, of course, the three things. Number one, you're looking for that previously owned vehicle. What's step number one? Step number one is to decide which one you want. Uh, once you've come to that conclusion, you go and have a look at it. Whoever is selling it, you meet somewhere or at their property. Uh, step number two would be... Um, car proof. Car proof. Now, I've heard of car proof before. Somebody said, well, you should get one, you shouldn't. What is car proof? You pay a fee, you go to, I believe, to a registration office, and it's actually a document, but what does it actually tell you? So what it's going to give you is a timeline of registration, which the key there would be, uh, has it been registered in multiple provinces? The other thing that you'll see is if there's any uh, reported claims through insurance, so if it's been through any big major collisions, it'll show up there that it's been repaired. It'll actually give you a dollar amount so it can, you can gauge how bad the impact was. Uh, the, the other big key is, is that whether it's ever been through an auction. All auctions are required to report vehicles by VIN number, so it's uh, nice to know. Yeah, so I guess if a car is in an auction, it might have a scrupulous past. It now, would. the last thing, of course, is the independent inspection. And I, and I, I want to I really say that this is important. By somebody you trust, preferably a recommended garage or your own mechanic, why is that the biggest piece of the puzzle? Well, I guess the best thing for, for you is the peace of mind that someone's been underneath and you could actually see where possibly if they've fused a car together, you'd be able to see that or if the frame's been uh, stretched, it's, it's obvious underneath. Uh, further than that, it's just the basic uh, mechanical fitness. Uh, does it need brakes and ball joints and struts and all that kind of stuff, which can really add up if you're not prepared for it, like if you've maxed out your budget and now you have a big repair bill. So looking at it ahead of time gives you a peace of mind that you know what you're up against. Fantastic, so there's the tips on buying that previously owned vehicle. Find the, find the beauty, but make sure you get it checked out and you'll have many kilometers of enjoyable driving. Thank you very much, Mike. We'll see you next time no on problem. Go Edmonton.